What's going on YouTube? This is Daybreak748 and today I am bringing you guys another haul video but today is a very special day because it is the end of New York Comic Con 2013. Wow, it's pretty exciting stuff. Had an awesome time with my friends, with family, with people I met there and YouTubers that I met there. Um, it's just been a great time. Yeah, it had some negatives and I'll talk about that in my next upcoming video, which is a rant video. But today, you're not here because of that. You're here to see what I picked up at New York Comic Con. So here we go. First thing is first, everyone who goes in to New York Comic Con gets this awesome uh, brochure, this magazine that tells you, like for example, um, it's on the Spotlight Entertainment Guest, all these other things. It has like a map. This is pretty much your best friend. Uh, it has the schedule, all that good stuff. So that's that. Um, pretty cool artwork. And uh, so, yeah, that's it. The next thing I would like to showcase would be the following. We'll go with all the different artworks that I purchased. Now, long time ago, I never understood why people bought art. But now, I think I understand. Um, I am appreciating um, the artist's like, creativity. I am appreciating just the work that went into it and it just looks badass. So I had to pick up um, some of these. I'm gonna put this to the side here. Here we go. The first one up is none other than this one right here. I'm sure you guys know what this um, epic scene is about or who it's about. It's about Cloud and Sephiroth. Sephiroth with his sword, with his wings. You have Cloud here with all his different swords laying around. And if you take a close look there, it says, I will dot 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 never be a memory, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, um, I met the artist and I was actually watching him doing some of these drawings and he showed me on the computer. It's like brush marks pretty much. Um, he pretty much takes um, the brushes on the computer. It's like a web design uh, image. But I don't know, I don't know the names of these things. But it's pretty cool because he just keeps making these brush mark type of looks. And the areas like you see here, it's lighter than the ones here. And even the characters, they're made from just pure br brush mark designs. Which is pretty crazy. Uh, Cloud looks like Cloud, but it's just individual strokes that make up this one figure. Same thing goes with this Sephiroth. So I had to pick this one up. He actually was nice enough to sign it for me, which is pretty awesome. All right, on to the next painting that I got. And this one, a lighter mood. It is none other than the Bat Family. It has all of the Cape Crusaders, uh, apprentices, sidekicks, whatever you want to call them. It has all the different Robins, the Nightwing up on top, right there. It has the Batgirl and Batwoman right there. It's a pretty awesome design. Now, this design was made by uh, this person right here. Come on, focus, focus. Agnes and Garbowska or Ski or whatever uh, She had some awesome Pictures and she does these chibi style character designs. I love her artwork I had to pick this up once again. She was nice enough to actually sign it down below, but you kind of see that glare so Yeah, but it's there So that's that All right more pictures Here we go the next picture, and wow, these are going to cover a lot of the things that I want to showcase, but here we go. The next picture I was able, able to get was this ridiculously big-ass zero figure, or figure, poster. I mean, look at that art design. It looks pretty crazy. Um, yeah, it looks awesome. I am starting to appreciate 
more of this work, uh, these artworks more and more. And that looks pretty badass. The next one, I'm, which is going to cover up my Sephiroth picture, is this Attack on Titan picture. Has all the main characters right here. And then they have Levi, and I don't remember her that chick's name, but she's there too. You have Eren's Titan form here. You have all these other um, soldiers just kind of flying around. You see the wall that's kind of tearing apart, and it just looks so damn cool. So that's that. The next one is going to cover up this magazine right here. It is none other than... Samus and then I there's a huge glare there but it's okay I'll put this right here for now and then move it but she's semi in her suit and it just looks so cool it, you could see that her armor pieces are starting to come together and whatnot and it just looks beautiful so had to pick this one up as well all right, the next three that I would like to showcase are smaller, so it's not going to take up that much space. The first one I would like to show you guys is the lovely Poison Ivy there. I mean, she looks beautiful um, with her like rose type of man-eater things here. Her hair kind of flowing naturally here. On the bottom here, it's just Caution Poison Ivy with a little pop vinyl figure. Um, Batman and Robin and you see right here she was uh, he was nice enough to sign it for me so that's that the next one still th sticking with the whole um, Batman theme is Harley Quinn let me see if I could get there you go pretty awesome awesome design Harley Quinn with her gun that says bang Joker and it looks like a card because it has the Joker symbol right there and right here. It also has her hammer and it has the little Batman vinyl figure with the X marks to represent that he's dead. But once again, beautiful artwork. Same person that did this one. The next one is another anime that I just recently watched. Sword Art Online, which is right here. Same design. Our artist that did these two did this one. You have Kirito and Asuna. Kirito wielding his dual wield swords, and Asuna looking badass up here. He signed it right there. So, yeah, lots and lots of pictures, but we're not done yet. Here we go. I actually purchased this art portfolio because I do want to collect artwork now, as well as the figures and all that other stuff that I do collect because they look so cool. And to be honest with you guys, I when I went to New York Comic Con, I didn't even step foot in the art, mm, art gallery section of the New York Comic Con. It's kind of off to the side, uh, so I never actually realized that it was there. But man, there are some crazy artists out there who are just amazing at what they do and here are just some uh, samples of their work uh, I couldn't I wanted to purchase them all but I was running low on cash when I found this place and so I just picked up whatever I could now what do I plan on doing with these well it's very simple these right here I am going to be putting at the back on the back of my detox so like for example um, I know um, JR a nightmare does something like that and he puts like pictures on the back so that you don't see the wall um, but you see this picture or whatever picture so I'm gonna put these two in the back of my detox now uh, same thing goes for the Asuna and Kirito the bigger ones I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a frame and frame it around my detox so it's gonna look cool um when it comes to the Sephiroth and Cloud um, picture. Uh, remember the figure that I reviewed of, uh, of Cloud and his motorcycle? I'm gonna get a nice frame, put that picture in the frame, and put it right behind the Cloud 
figure that I reviewed for you guys from Play Arts Kai. Um, I think that would look pretty cool. So that's that. All right, so on to more artwork. Bam, the first artwork I would love to show you guys is this chibi style Walking Dead poster. Love, love The Walking Dead. It's coming on tonight in a couple of hours. I'm super excited for it. And you have just all the main cast members, Daryl, Michonne, Carl, um, just everyone. Uh, Andrea, but she's dead. Uh, spoiler alert if you did not watch. But yeah, and you have a couple of zombies just rotting away. Uh, he was also nice enough to sign it down here underneath that print. Alright, the next one is, bam, the Justice League. Of course, I need to pick up a Justice League um, picture. Um, this is actually going to go on top of my DTOF as well. Uh, I have already built the other second DTOF. And what I'm planning to do with that is, I'm going to frame this, put it on the very top. And once I get my Player Arts Kai uh, Justice League members, I'm going to put them right in front of this picture so this picture will be kind of up here and you'll have the figures down below so Superman will be right like here Wonder Woman Green Lantern Aquaman Batman Flash hopefully they come out with a green arrow crossing my fingers for that one but um, that's that so that's that next one loved the Teen Titans uh, the first season, this whole new Teen Titans Go, not a real big fan, but hey, I had to support my Teen Titans line. And lastly, of course, I need to pick up something Super Sentai slash MMPR related because I love this. Uh, I grew up with this pretty much. Um, here's uh, all of these guys in chibi form and they just look so funny and they look really cute and they have some attitude so that's that pretty cool so that is all my artwork guys I'm gonna put this to the side because I'm running out of space alright here we go the next thing that I would like to showcase before I get into my haul, if you haven't watched my previous haul, you don't need to uh, stop this video because I'll show you right here real quickly. I This is pretty much the same week as New York Comic Con, so I'm just going to post it. Uh, I was able to get Black Overdrive Ranger and Blue Overdrive Ranger from Gundam Planet. Same thing goes for this Red Wind Ranger. Also, the White Ranger, which is pretty cool. And lastly, the final form of Frieza. So, those I'll put in the back here. Now, on to New York Comic Con figure, uh, figures that I purchased. The Armored Red Ranger. Pretty awesome figure. This is the Bandai exclusive. Um... Looks badass. Now, to be honest with you guys, if you're just collecting the main team and the Green Ranger, you can pass on this figure because you pretty much get everything here besides, um, and the Red Ranger, of course, you get in the other one, but you don't get this armor. And if you want to pose it with the Green Ranger next to him, it's going to look kind of awkward and weird. So, you can pass on it if you want. But me, as a completist, I had to pick this guy up. So put that guy there. All right, on to the other figures. Now, the next set of figures all come from the Figma line. Uh, the first figure that I would like to showcase is none other than, bam, Samus. From Metroid, the other M. And this figure is from Good Smile. I missed the opportunity to pick this figure up uh, when it first was released but I was just so thankful that I was able to find it for a pretty decent price uh, at New York Comic Con. Here we go. Next figure that I would like to showcase, it still has the wrapping but you could clearly tell who it is. It is Link from Zelda and this is also from Figma. 
pretty awesome figure. Now, some places wanted some ridiculous money for this figure, and it's the same. It's not the re-release version, but they were still wanting a hundred bucks for it. I know Image Anime had this figure for a ridiculous price too. Uh, I found uh, this one at the actual Good Smile Company booth, and they were having it for fairly cheap, but two days or a day later, I should say, um, it was gone. Uh, they had no more of these guys. They were both sold out, which was pretty crazy. So that's that. Sticking with the Figma line. Uh, right before the event, I started watching and I completed this uh, anime series. And like I told you guys and some of you guys already know, um, I stopped watching anime a uh, long time ago. But I just recently picked up on it again. And this was the anime that I watched. It was none other than Black Rock Shooter. Love this character. I love the awesome accessories that she comes with. She comes with like a sword and a freaking mach this machine gun slash plasma rifle thing. Uh, it changes into a lot of different things, but damn, this girl is pretty awesome. You can kind of see the machine gun or bazooka thing that she's holding pretty darn cool okay on to the next sticking with that same anime i was able to find dread master or dead master wow not dread master dead master um this is not the version with the two skulls this one only has the sigh it actually comes with some chains which you will see in the back very very soon right here this picture has her with the chains uh, pretty cool and that's that I'm gonna rearrange this guy sorry so I can kinda get as much of this in camera alright and lastly for the figures I was able to find black gold saw she comes with this saw sword slave and type of weapon looking badass. She looks like the devil, seriously. Um, if you look at the top right here, she has horns. Pretty sick figure. Now some of you guys might be wondering why uh, I'm not showing you any real exclusives. Well guys, if you're wondering about that, please watch my rant video that I will have um, up right after this one because I want to get this off my chest it's driving me off the walls um, yeah but I don't want to waste time here doing that so that's that all right on to some Power Rangers stuff or more Power Rangers stuff when I went to the Power Rangers booth they were giving out these um, cards for free so I don't collect these guys so I'm sure some of you guys watching do um, comment down below and tell me exactly how you would like me to give these out. Maybe I could do some type of trivia and whoever gets the right answer first will get these. Uh, first place, second place, etc. Um, or I can do just like a free giveaway. Um, <coughs> excuse me guys. Um, where I can ask you, um... Whoever comments first gets these. I don't know. Uh, comment down below and tell me how you guys would like to get these. Um, yeah, so that's that. I was a bit able to get that, so I'll put those there. Now, the next two items I'm going to show you, they are actually going to be sold off. Um, I don't know anything about this line, but I do know these items are pretty pricey. Um, I checked on eBay. And damn, they're going for some big money. So if you guys want them, I'm giving you the opportunity to buy them here uh, from me through PayPal or money order. No cash because it's too dangerous. Um, I don't want you guys to lose money, whatnot. So PayPal or money order. Those are the only options. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys what I was able to pick up. Now, originally, the reason why I picked these up were for my cousins. Um, they are into My Little Pony, so I got them, uh, each one of these, and then I was like, you know what, let me pick one of these up, 
uh, a pair of these so I picked up one for myself and then I just so happened to check on eBay and, um, to see how much these things were going for and man are they pricey these are exclusives from New York Comic Con and so they're pretty hard to get and they're all foiled out and they come in these awesome cute sleeves right here I don't know any of their names um, so forgive me for that I'm sure some of you guys who love My Little Pony uh, are like, what the hell are you doing with these? <laughs> I'm like, I should be having them. So yeah, guys, uh, they will be on eBay uh, if you want to go through them. If you want to purchase them through uh, just YouTube, that would help me out because I don't need to go through PayPal fees, eBay fees, etc. But it's up to you guys. I don't really mind. They're in mint condition, never touched, etc. I'll send them out with tracking, of course, and all that good stuff. But yeah, uh, series offers on this. PM me if you're interested. Uh, if no one's interested here, I can always put it on eBay and it will be fine. So that's that. Uh, sticking with the My Little Pony theme, I was able to get this variant cover. The My Little Pony micro series featuring Rarity. have no idea who that is. But it's cool because I was able to get this uh, artist that did the front cover uh, to sign it. That's her signature right there uh, for all you Rarity fans here. Um, she was able to actually sign it. Her name is Sarah Richard. This card is 4 out of 100. And this one was actually um, signed by Katie Cook. It's a different artwork. Uh, and it's 80, number 87 out of 100. It's pretty limited run. Um, if you guys are interested in this, I'm, I will be selling this as well. If you guys want to buy the whole thing, let me know. We can maybe work something out. But uh, no stupid offers, guys. Um, yeah, serious offers only for that. Anyways, like I said, that is my haul. I picked up a lot of cool stuff that I can review for you guys. A lot of the Power Rangers I got in stock, or in hand I should say. Uh, the new Figma stuff I have in hand, uh, artwork, everything pretty much is going to be reviewed. That's here. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I'm sorry I, didn't, I wasn't able to get many of the other exclusives. And like I said, if you're wondering why, and I'm sure some of you guys are, um, yeah, check out the rant video and you'll understand. You will know exactly why I was not able to pick up most of the, um, what's it called, the exclusives there. And uh, so that's that. But anyway, guys, once again, thank you for watching my video. Um, starting from this point on, on a weekly basis, you will be seeing regular haul videos and it will be awesome. I'll be doing, I'll pi be picking up my reviews starting from this week. Um, the videos are already made, so I'm just going to be posting them uh, as the week goes. And it's on Super Sentai SH Figure Arts stuff, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, thanks for the love. This is Daybreak748, and I'm signing out. Peace out, guys.